Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Siri. Excuse everything that's going on right here because it's hot. It is. Let me tell you how hot it is. It is. <clears throat> it is 86 degrees outside, but in my house, it feels like it's a good 102. A calm 102. So, I'm going to try to get ready at I can I do have clothes on so don't think I'm over here just trying to show y'all my goodies cuz I'm not <laughs> okay let's get into this all right that's I'm so cheesy so you know the years so this is a little get ready with me the gag is I don't even know where I'm going I know. So right now I'm just doing my eyebrows. I always start off with my eyebrows, you know. I like very little arch in my jaw. So you know. You know. You already know. And that's pretty much how my eyebrow goes. I'll zoom in in the other one so you can see it. Hold on. Okay, so that's uno. Now we're gonna do dos. My eyebrows are a little thicker than I like right now. I like them skinny. So boom, take my concealer. This is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer and I'm just gonna clean up underneath. I don't clean up on top, just underneath. So yeah. My lace. I'm so hot. Maybe I should take the lace. The lace. So maybe I should take this off. I feel like. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do no more. Like. Put my head in the fan. Excuse my closure. So, if you didn't see my last video, go check it out. But I did braids on my TWA. I recently did the big chop. I cut off more than I needed to, but just enough. That didn't make no sense. Okay, so let's try it this way. So, <laughs> I did the big chop. Oh, see, it's lifting. I really don't understand this glue thing in, it, in the summer. Mm. 
No, but I did a T. I did the braids on my TWA, and it was cool. It lasted me like a good two weeks. But my hair is it's really short, so my hair and my hair texture like it curls up too easily. My hair texture. My hair texture curls up too easily, so my natural hair started coming out of my braid, and I wasn't here for none of that, so I took it out. And now I'm back to my lace closure. Now, my problem with lace closures are um, the fact that they don't, they don't, like, I have to glue it or it got to be. Got to be is cool. It definitely holds it, but it's temporary. It lasts you, like, a day. A day, if that. But then like the glue, I had bad experiences with the glue because I didn't know what I was doing. So like I gave myself bald spots in my hair. But thanks to rice water, I'm making a comeback. Rice water in the Lord. And I can't find what I'm looking for. So I'm about to just move on to the foundation. Foundation. Um. So. Um. What was I finna say? Oh yeah, so yeah, I took it out or whatever. So this time, this is I use Ghost Bond to glue this down. But I was like to get setting up just now, setting up the camera and the lights and stuff. And my house is so hot, so like now I feel like it's lifting. Like you can see the glue and stuff, and I don't like that. So I'm gonna just give it a chance to like set back down, settle down. <laughs> I'll wait. I used to hate when teacher said that. I'll wait. Okay. <sighs> um, but I'm gonna just wait till it settles again, maybe dries again, and see if it'll, it'll look normal again. Cause right now I look like my wig is sliding on back. But like my my wig is trying to my wig is trying to leave me. And we can't have that. Oh, I'm nice and golden now. Yes, son. Come through, son. A lot of people don't talk about going to the gym with, like, makeup and stuff. I mean, with, um, with lace fronts. And I really would need, I really would appreciate somebody who's experienced in lace fronts, in lace glues, and who goes to the gym. Because I really don't know what to do no more. I really don't. I'm like so. Oh no. Sign. Okay, now I'm gonna do my concealer. See it and I feel it pulling. And I think I got a little bit on my baby hair. So, like, pull my baby hair if you wanna fight. Period. So now I'm gonna go with my concealer, LA Girl. LA Girl Pro Concealer. I just felt like I was sweating underneath the scarf, so I didn't want to keep the scarf on. And then it just be underneath there cooking. But now, I feel like I have no choice. Let's tie it one good time. I'm all out of love. I like to contour. Ooh. I like to contour my eyeballs too. It helps. It helps. I realize that I I do I um. Chunky. Okay. Got a little 
chunky. So I need the password. For my shadow, I'm going to be using this Morphe 35B palette. Should have probably showed that when I was zoomed out. But we're here now. So lately, I've been feeling the color pink. So I'm going to go in with this pink color. Actually, I'm going to go in with this color. Let me zoom out. I feel like... So I'm gonna go, I've been feeling pink. So even though this looks purple-ish, it's still kind of a pink color. So I'm gonna be using these three today. Okay. So first, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with this one, okay? I'm gonna go in with this one. Now I'm taking the color that I put on my lid and I'm doing it right underneath um, on the waterline. Hold on, I want to try this. I want to see if I use an angle brush if it makes it a little bit more clean. Take this side, this is like a little Anastasia brush that come in the eyeshadows. And then I'm just going to add to that. I feel like I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. You can brush my hair and kiss me everywhere. Whoa. I just realized how crazy that song was. I used to like that song. Let's go Barbie. Oh, 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 yeah. All right. And scene. Ooh. Gotta make sure you don't get no fallout on your concealer because then you're gonna be sick when you got purple, pink, whatever color concealer under your eye. So just, you know, do a little light tap before you start going in with the brush.
I'll show you again. I'll show you again. I'm gonna take this color. And I'm just gonna do a little bit on the outer. Um, and this is optional. I usually like to, I end up doing a little, little shunting, just to add a little depth to the honey. Just a little bit. I'm, I wanna keep it light, cause you know it's summer. But you see, just adds a little definition. I don't look as wide-eyed. This one makes me look like wide-eyed. It looks very unfinished to me, this eye. But when you add a little bit of the darker, it's like, okay. Okay, I see what you did there. And I'm just doing it on the outer part of the crease. <laughs> you know? Of course, one eye is always different. So you always want to make sure that they at least look similar. And then, just want to blend it you know? Okay, and that completes that. Now, I don't think I want to do um, a dramatic eyeliner. I just want to just line it. So when I put my lashes on, I don't look so... benefit my first time using their liner this is the roller liner like their roller lash mascara Ooh. okay I got a little overzealous I got I got ahead of myself on this eye It's very saturated, I like that. Okay, put on your lash now. Cause now, it should be a little, oh shoot, oh shoot. Is going with my Alchemist palette, Kat Von D, and I take the pink. I'm gonna take the pink. Should I take pink or purple? I'm gonna do pink. I'm gonna do the pink one, and then just pat that in. Ooh. I don't know if y'all see what I see, but what I see, I like what I see. <laughs> I like what I see. At this point, I'm pretty much done with the look. Um, I just went in and, you know, did the usual contour blush highlight. Um, I am using uh, a different blush. It is the Anastasia. I'm going to show you. It's like her trio blushes. This is in like the berry berry something it's something with the berry but I use the color in the middle um but my hair is really annoying me like my edges are done up this lace closure is done up like I'm still learning I'm still trying to figure this out um but my birthday is around the corner so I am gonna you know have something you know <laughs> something ready but yeah this is pretty much what the look looks like and I just wanted to come on and let y'all know that I know my hair is wilding okay okay So this is the end of my get ready with me on this summery vibe. Wow. But it's okay, we're done. You get the point, just look at this side. <laughs> um, look at the lace. 
You see, it just look a little mushy, but I don't care. I'm still trying to figure out this lace lace closure deal. I want to get a lace front so bad because, like, um, it's just more versatile and looks. Like, I can only do so much with this middle part for the most part. Because once I try to do a side part, the way I cut my closure, it just looks real boxy. So, like, I'm going to really figure it out with this um, lace. I'm gonna figure it out with the glue, the lace glue and then everything. And then once I figure it out, I'm gonna quick, you know, let y'all know. Thank you so much for watching. Um, keep tuned in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the no I'm gonna I'm say it, turn on the notification um, thing, but I'm really gonna keep being consistent, I promise. I say that every video, but I promise. Um, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I want to do other stuff, not just makeup, you know? Maybe a little mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. You know what I mean.